Right guys, you join us at um, Iden Fisheries today. And just behind me there, look. Apologies for not being in the carp gear. Um, the lockdown was unkind to me. Or oh, sorry, cake and beer was unkind to me. Seven weeks, cake and beer. Hence my fishing stuff now doesn't fit. And that's what Lindsay's got on. So, happy days. Lovely little venue. I think there's three or four lakes here. We're on the Match Lake at the minute, home for a bit of action. Um, I've got nothing yet. Linda's had a little carp and some small silvers. We saw a 24 pound, 25 pound, I think it was, come out earlier. That was, uh, we didn't get here till late, we had things to do. So we're midday now, so we're not, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. But it's starting to cloud over, so that might help us. The sun has been out. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Don't, hopefully you can see that guys, I think the fish are taking the piss. Cruising along the top, might have to use some top tactics in a minute. Take you through some of the bait, so the boilers aren't allowed here, so um, what I've got here, I've got some complex tea pellet, some chilled hemp, some ordinary hemp, some maize, um, the top tip here is, if it's quiet here, is to use a bit of pepper army. So I've just changed to pepper army. I'll show you the rigs in a bit. Uh, Ready-made rigs from Corda, just for ease, really. Try and have a light session. I think Lindsay, have you caught, baby? On false alarm. I thought Lindsay had something then. Uh, the sun's out again. Travelling fairly light today. You all know how difficult it is to travel light when carp fishing, but I think we've cracked it. Although we have got everything bloody spread out all over the place. Daddy. Yeah, so this came to um, two pieces of fake corn right on the edge over the mix that we showed earlier. Show in the bucket, babe. Just in there with the complex tea, corn, maize, and chili hemp. Yeah, so that fish came on some corn. It was actually a bit of fake corn and two bits of standard sweet corn. Fish are in really, really close. So that was caught about three foot from the bank, just in front. It was caught just in front of that bush. Happy days. Linda's in again. What was that on, babe? Um, a little bit of mice.
Ash. Nearly ready. In the net. Great fish. Well done, Lindsay. Lovely common carp. Bream, get us out of that net bag. They have a nice fish, but we don't want them, do we? Actually, actually leave it. Don't, I'll get slime everywhere, I'll unhook it. I'll hook it in the water. <clears throat> so yeah, we've had a couple of fish now. Uh, Lindsay's had two carp, one very nice carp, 10, 12 pounds. Silverfish, I've had a car for bream. So yeah, we'll keep going. I've just um put a rig the other side of that tree near the bridge. We'll see what comes on. Bait it up around it. Let's see. Always the same. Moody this way. Can they? Mm. Get a little beat and then uh, I popped him. Lovely coloured fish that. Oh, enough pulling for a small little fish. Get in the net. So this is the rig that's doing all the damage, the quarter day KD rig. See the uh, pop-up maize in IB flavours and a little bit of maize. Happy days. There's quite a few fishermen here now. Let's see. A couple of bivvies behind me. A few alarms beeping. That's all good. As I said before, what Iden Fishery is a friendly place. It's all pretty good. Nice and clean, there's toilets. So yeah, lovely days fishing. Not gonna be too much longer. Um, back to work shortly, so um, my head's gotta get into work mode and out of fishing mode, unfortunately. But I am gonna go fishing in Sweden. Carp and sea. Um, yeah, see how we get on. Give me something to do at weekends in Sweden. Talk soon.